Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the escape key is not working properly on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, best match, come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. And then on the right side, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then underneath other, scroll down and select the keyboard troubleshooter and then the run button. And then if it was able to detect any issues, I'd recommend following along with the on-screen prompts. Something else I'd also recommend trying here as well, close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in device manager. Best result, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to double click on the keyboard section. And then right click on the keyboard listed under here and select update driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer, and then select Next. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here, and you will need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. And if you're still having an issue, something else we can try here as well. If you open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, and come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select accessibility. And then on the right side, you want to go down to keyboard. Underneath interaction, so go ahead and select keyboard. If sticky keys are turned on, or filter keys are turned on, either or, make sure they're all turned to the off position. So if they're on like this, toggle them both to the off position. And that should hopefully be about it. You may also be having an issue with a worn out keyboard, in which case you may want to consider replacing it with a new keyboard or trying a different keyboard in its place. And see if that resolves the problem as well. And this would pertain more to external plug and play keyboard devices. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.